After 30 years of special status, Denmark intends to get involved in defense cooperation within the EU. Almost 67% of Danish voters voted in a referendum on Wednesday to abolish their country's so-called EU defense proviso. Only around 33% were in favor of retaining the special status. This means that Denmark will be able to take part in future European security and defense cooperation, for example in military EU missions. So far, the special regulation, which is unique in the EU, meant that the country could take part in civilian, but not in EU military missions or in the joint development of weapon systems, for example. The clear result is a further signal that the Russian war of aggression in Ukraine has led to a reorientation of the respective defense policies in various EU countries. This can also be seen in Denmark's immediate vicinity. In Germany, Chancellor Olaf Scholz proclaimed a turning point a good three months ago. Sweden and Finland have decided to say goodbye to their decades of military freedom from alliances and to apply for NATO membership, which they recently did. Almost 4.3 million Danes were called on Wednesday to vote on the defense reservation. Voter turnout was around 65.8%. The result was clearer than expected. An overwhelming majority of Danes had voted to abolish the reservation, Social Democrat Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen stated to party friends in Copenhagen that evening. Denmark sent a very clear signal to its allies, but also to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Denmark is the only EU country with such a special status on defense issues. It had existed since 1993. A year earlier, the Danes had voted against the Maastricht Treaty. The Scandinavian country then negotiated for reservations on EU cooperation in order to stay out of defense issues, among other things. At the second attempt, the people then approved the Maastricht Treaty. This is the first time that Germany's northernmost neighbor has gotten rid of a special regulation in a referendum. In 2000, the people voted against the euro and in 2015 also against EU judicial cooperation. The abolition of the defense reservation applies from the day on which the other EU countries have been informed in writing by the Danes. After the vote, however, it will probably be a few more weeks due to formalities before the special regulation is finally a thing of the past. The Danish parliament in Copenhagen will then take a position on various parts of EU defense cooperation, such as which military operations Denmark would ultimately like to join. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.